was hungry, now when the game turned greedy. Was known to be needy, now was people that need me. Battling up the dead because I What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. And today I got Quincy Blunt's last game of the season. And it is against the Carolina Panthers. So they got Cam Newton, they got D'Angelo Williams, Steve Smith, Craig Olson on their offense. So it's a base solid offense that they have. And the D-line of the Atlanta Falcons is gonna have to play good against the read option and these runs from D'Angelo Williams. But it seems like they're not stopping him right now. He has three rushes for 14 yards on their first drive. Almost get the pick right there, but they decide to swat it away. Cam Newton still dropping back, finds a wide open Greg Olsen for a first down. So Quincy Blunt this game and the Atlanta Falcons, they decided to wear the all black. You can see the Panthers got on all white. This is the last game in the Georgia Dome this season. And that's what they just wanted to be crazy. Are they trying to go ball out? against the Panthers but it's not that easy just to go all out against the Panthers they got like Cam Newton who runs the read option and D'Angelo Williams who had a great game running the ball and he already has four rushes for 22 yards and Quincy Blunt misses the tackle right there and I'm, I'm thinking Quincy Blunt is in a sophomore slump right now like last year he was amazing for the Atlanta Falcons but there's a lot of changes made to the defense. They let go of some of the key linemen and the key cornerbacks of last year's Super Bowl winning team. So he's just steadily, he has to do everything by himself. And that gets to a person no matter how good you are. So he's starting to play worse. And we almost get the sack right there on Cam Newton. But he finds Steve Smith diving over the middle. They hand it off to D'Angelo Williams and he gets smacked by Thomas Deku. Three tackles already on this first job, and we didn't even get the ball on offense yet. There's only 30 seconds left, and we finally get a sack with Steven Nicholas on third down, which forces the Carolina Panthers to kick a field goal, and so did our offense. So, nice job by Yumi Yor getting off that block, making a tackle. Stop him only for a one-yard gain. Quincy Blunt got the tight end covered, and Asante Samuel catches the pick going down the sidelines, and he's in that end zone for the pick six. So that pick actually, I think Cam Newton wanted to go to the tight end, but since Quincy Blunt jumped down on, on the route, it, it was just nowhere to go. Cam Newton just threw it up, and that's where you get confused at. But you see that right there. The Panthers ran the screen with the running back. But since they played Quincy Blunt all last year and won, they played him twice last year and won one time earlier this year with a big hit on Cam Newton. Uh, they kind of figured out what Quincy Blunt likes to do. So if he, Quincy Blunt sees a screen, he's going to run to where the screen is at. But they had another route where they wanted to pass it to actually. So they're tricking Quincy Blunt and it actually worked that time. Greg Olson, there was no routes going towards Quincy Blunt right there. Every route went to the outside, so they're just going away from him. So Cam Newton tries to scramble again, but he gets sacked for like a seven-yard loss, and it's only under 30 seconds left in the second quarter, so Ron Rivera doesn't like that. Uh, still third and three, though. They still have the ball. Okay. Oh, Cam Newton drops back, doesn't see anybody. He gets the sack again, and they don't even get to kick a field goal now. So they actually did, though. After they get the ball back after halftime, so it ties the game up 10 to 10, and it's in the third quarter in this pistol formation, and Cam Newton finally gets a run, and it's not that big of a run, only for five yards. We gotta have to calm that down right now because we don't want Cam Newton to start running all over the defense. Steve Smith gets in between the zones for that nice gain on the play, and Cam Newton's stats right now. Over 100 yards and one interception. And it seems like every quarterback that I play, they always have a pass completion like over 70%. Like, I don't understand it. You see, he is 12 for 15, but on third and four, everything seems to be locked up. Look at the movement by Quincy Blunt. And Cam Newton goes to the check down route to the running back, which makes them punt the ball, punt us to pack the ball, and they, we score three points on offense. They get the ball back and they're coming out and they're getting first downs here in the first fourth quarter. So Quincy Blunt trying to blitz right there and Cam Newton finds a wide open Steve Smith. So 
Steve Smith has been really, he's been really good this game. He has four receptions for 65 yards. He has four key receptions too. Was, oh, that could have been easily picked off if the safety would have just stayed home, would have stayed where he was at. But safety moves, so it's all right. And they're coming out, full house Panther. Cam Newton taking off downfield, and he gets stopped like an inch short from the touchdown line. So we have one chance to stop him, and Tolbert just gets in the end zone. So that's all good. Now we're down by four points, 17 to three. Steve Smith doesn't make that catch right there. He goes out of bounds, couldn't get two feet in. Cam Newton still dropping back, throwing it short to Brandon LaFell. He only gets three yards on that pass play, so Quincy Wunt trying to pump up the crowd. D'Angelo Williams gets stopped short of the first down, so they gave the offense back the ball. We actually scored, so it's 20 to 7, 17. And now the Panthers are in panic mode right now. Cam Newton's calling a no huddle, and the second is seven. There's nobody really over. Quincy has the tight end covered, and Cam gets sacked once again. He's really getting beat up this game. Like, this is the last game of the season, and Cam is taking the beating. And you can see D'Angelo Williams still catching stuff, and that stops them on third down. It's fourth and three. We're going with the Quincy Blitz, the Quincy Blitz, and Cam Newton recognized it, did the screen, and Robert Alfred got past the blockers to save that fourth down conversion. This was a nice ending of the game in the last game of the season. The Falcons come away with a victory by three points over the rivals, the Carolina Panthers. Mike Smith happy, Quincy Blunt happy, but they didn't make the playoffs this season. So hopefully next season they will. Sante Samuel is the player of the game, but this video is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.